Yeah. And I shouldn't have to put up with this. Cold ass truck? Ball association. Truck. Oh. Hard to put the heat on. Do anybody know what truck is? Hey, who's asking? The National Basketball Association. You getting called up. <laughs> when? Now. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. There go. yeah. There he is. Let's go. Woo. So here I come. So, you know you guard matches tonight, right? Wait, With DJ what? and Cedric down, we need you to stay out of foul trouble. Okay. Also, don't fall for his pump fake. That's an easy six. But you gotta contest or it's lights out. All right. Hey, he's gonna get his tonight, so don't let it frustrate this you. This is a big game for us. We need you to get down in the mud and scrap. Okay, I can also, do that. Also, hey, you're on a 10-day contract. That's a tough spot to be in. But it's also a good opportunity. So, you wanna stick around? Show us what you got. Any questions? About guard and magic? Good. See you at warm-ups. Palm trees and sunshine. Los Angeles, our location for tonight's game. Well, a lot of pressure on recently signed Trump. First game with the team, and he's thrown to the Lions. We'll see how long he stays matched up with Magic. So here's who the Celtics will begin the game with. Dennis Johnson is out with injury, so Gerald Henderson will start at the point. Scott Redman is joined by the newly signed Truck out on the wing. The fifth-year phenom, Larry Bird, starts at the four. And in the middle, Robert Parrish locking up the center position. And starting for the Lakers, Irvin Magic Johnson runs the show at the point. The rookie, Byron Scott, gets the nod at the two. They'll have Michael Cooper and Kurt Rambis making up the front court pair. And of course, it's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar standing tall in the middle. And for Truck, he's known for his defense, Clark. But it will take a huge effort to contain Magic Johnson in this one. The Celtics did not have much of a choice, Kevin. I mean, with all of their injuries, they needed to bring somebody in. If Truck can disrupt and bother Magic just a little bit, that's a huge lift for them. Well, with Truck drawing the assignment guarding Magic, Mike, you have to think they'll test him early. And why wouldn't they? When you have a newly signed guy like Truck checking up Magic, you have to go at him early on. We'll find out quick how Truck handles it. Now here's Henderson after Magic Johnson's miss. Lock at six. Launches a three. Rebound the Lakers. He definitely forced that shot, guys. He had plenty of time to adjust himself, and kick the ball back out, and look for a better opportunity. Have to give credit to the defense there. Playing with pace pays off as they got it right to the cup. That's why more teams are pushing the tempo. It's high efficiency offense. And for more on Truck, who is getting the start today, let's head over to David Older. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the shorthanded Celtics had to make a roster move. They were able to get Truck, a wing playing for the Minneapolis Muskrat. His team has had their eye on Truck for a while, but this string of injuries forced them to act. We'll see how that goes for it. Guys? You will indeed, DA. Thank you so much. And Clark, the Muskrats, one of the minor league pro teams in the States. Yeah, you know, from what I understand, Kevin, Truck was doing really well at that level. This could be his big opportunity. Now here's Johnson, Abdul-Jabbar. And the basket is good. There's a reason they call him Magic. How'd he find it? And here's Anderson. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Still without a basket in the game. Truck against Johnson. Here's Truck. Six on the shot clock. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Los Angeles ball. And for those who remember watching Truck in college, you know he's as hard a worker as they come. Yeah, nobody's going to out-hustle him, Mike. He's not the most skilled wing, but he's a great player to have fill in for nights like this. Johnson's shot is off. Celtics trail by six. Here's Redman. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. Johnson with it. Guarded now by Larry Bird. Cooper kicks to Abdul-Jabbar. 
That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Love the unselfishness. Cooper's willing to whip it to open teammates. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. some changes. Mikhail comes in for Burton and Danny Ainge has subbed in for Trump. Here's Ainge. 153 left to play in the first quarter. Michael Lakers finishing up a home and away split with the Supersonics the last two games. A lot of offense in those games. Both teams were hitting all their shots as they shot over 50% for both games. Boy, that looked like a failure to communicate. You hate unforced errors. The Lakers on offense. Good momentum, eight straight points. Left side, Scott. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Shoots over Parrish, and it's Abdul Jabbar. That time on the assist by Scott. Abdul Jabbar's got six. Right out of the starting blocks. They've been dominant at the offensive end. And that early momentum has helped them put together a nice lead. Now here's Parrish. No scoring in this one. That one falls. And this demonstrates how poised Parrish is. Excellent at staying in control and being guarded closely. And this year's draft class, Mike, it's shaping up to be a good one. There are a few players that could alter the future of teams. Elijah Wan and Jordan seem like can't miss prospects, but there are a lot of great kids coming out this year. Rambus, no luck. Here's Wedman, defended by Scott. Wedman can't get it to go. Lakers leading by eight. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. For this team, Byron Scott is the glue. Great defensively, doesn't need the ball much, will do anything to win. Byron Scott, two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. That's good from Scott. Some changes for the Lakers. McAdoo is checked in for Abdul Jabbar. Worthy comes in for Rambus. And it's Johnson in for Cooper. And then for Boston. Larry Bird's checked in for Parrish. Truck comes in for Wedman. And Buckner subbed in for Henderson. Scott hits them both. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Buckner. There's a screen by McHale to the paint. McHale, worthy with the rebound. Here's Wilkes, scoreless thus far. Worthy with a clean look. And again, the Lakers, no good. And so it's Los Angeles with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break.
Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our coverage. Second quarter action here at the Fabulous Forum. Truck with it. And they call the eight-second violation. Too much time getting it up court. Perhaps nerves, maybe frustration, but now is not the time for mistakes. Yeah, control going to be the key here. That's the only way to get out of this thing. Garrett, he's checked in for the Lakers. Mike, you talk about the excitement in this crowd. This is a capacity crowd here tonight. 17,505 here in the Forum. It's been the hot ticket here in L.A. Laker fans know what the implications of this matchup mean. They've come out in full force. Good pass from Wilkes, possessing a keen awareness for when his guys are open. Pass to Truck. Just five on the clock. It's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Well, Clark, we expected Magic to have a potential breakout game. So far, he's been solid. No surprise, Kevin. He's always going to be a factor when you talk about Magic Johnson. But with Truck defending him, I would have thought he would look for his own shot just a little bit more here. Here's Ainge after Magic Johnson's bucket. In the corner, McHale with it. Back to Ainge. Five on the clock. Truck against Johnson, and they'll turn it over. They could not get off a shot before second violation. Some changes for the Lakers. Rambis comes in for Worthy, and it's Scott in for Garrett. Celtics also with a sub. Henderson's checked in. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. On the wing, Johnson. He's got six. Inside. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. You know, we've seen so many great battles between Bird and Magic. Something special typically happens when these two meet. Rivals in college and now rivals in the NBA. They always seem to be getting in each other's way. Ripped away. Here's Wilkes. Nothing on the board. Johnson, the pass to Rambis. Goes back up. Johnson against Truck. Shot clock at six. He's off from 17 feet. Celtics trail by 16. Henderson finds Truck. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. McAdoo, the pass to Wilkes. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. You see why they call Wilkes Silk. One Makes the tough shot look easy. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Abdul Jabbar's checked in for Los Angeles. Cooper comes in for Scott and then for Boston. Robert Parrish has checked in for McKay. And Wedman subbed in for Buckner. One shot. And Mike, the last game out, Boston dropping their game to San Diego. First loss for them on this road trip. The Clippers were hitting everything, it seemed. Boston just couldn't keep up. That's a game you know they want back. Now here's Henderson. Screened by Parrish. In the corner, it's Bird. Sinks the triple. Bird's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. This is how automatic Bird is. All he needs is the ball. And instantly, that shot is gone. Yep, it counts. And the Lakers lead by 18. Looking to stretch this lead out even further, going right after his shot. And the defense continues to not be up to the challenge. Here's Wedman. He's guarded by Cooper. Parrish inside. Looking on Abdul-Jabbar. A shot's good from Parrish. 
Boy, I like the determination and the hustle. This guy leaves it all out there every time he's between the lines. And Clark Casey Jones, the coach for the Celtics, has done a terrific job in his first year. Well, Kevin, his love and loyalty for this team goes without question all the years he had as an outstanding player. And this organization believes in him. He's been a really good fit for the Celtics so far. Here's Truck after Magic Johnson's bucket. Now, Truck hasn't made one yet. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Byron Scott is checked in for the Lakers. McHale's checked in for the Celtics. Car comes in for Truck. Fifty-four seconds left in the first half. There's the pick. Here's Wilkes. And the rebound goes to McHale. Even though he's coming off the bench in this one, Mike, what a year it's been for Jamal Wilkes. He's looked very comfortable all season long. Found his role and has played it perfectly. Great scoring threat for this team. 7-1 with great skill. Parrish is one of the toughest assignments in the league. Robert Parrish taking two shots. And the first one drops. Every team wants a Robert Parrish, an intimidating figure inside. He controls the painted area. Both free throws good from Parrish. We've got 33 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Cooper. Pass to Scott. Six to shoot. Cooper against Carr. Los Angeles with another miss. Now here's Henderson. Here's McHale. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. Magic Johnson, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Los Angeles. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we'll be back with you shortly. Welcome back, everyone. The second half getting going. Lakers and Celtics here in beautiful L.A. And so Henderson will bring it up for Boston. It's a 16-point game. And with Truck on the floor again, Mike, it seems the Celtics will be matching his minutes with Magic's. That's why they signed him. Boston feels he is the right man to bother Magic with his strength. It makes sense they would match minutes. Here's Truck, still without a basket. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Los Angeles ball. Truck against Johnson. From the high post. Rebounded by the Celtics. Anderson looking it over. And it's Bird missing. Los Angeles leading by 16. Magic, magic. Right side, Scott. To the inside, Johnson banked in off the glass. Johnson's got the first field goal the second half for the Lakers. Well, both of these teams have been terrific so far this season. This could be a preview of this year's finals. Yeah, I agree with you, Mike. The Lakers would love a return trip. I mean, with both teams atop their conferences, this game does have some extra juice to it. Here's Truck after Magic Johnson's bucket. Shot clock at five. Hey, yo, right here. Truck against Johnson. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time.
And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Scott up top tries it from 19. That's good. And Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got three assists tonight. We know Scott's got a great stroke from three. So these mid-range shots, they're easy for Byron. Redmond the pass to Henderson. And too long on the shot. Really good anticipation. Got a hand in the face right there. Really disruptive defensively. Great challenge. Count it good. They've gotten out to a big lead because of superior play on both ends. No better way to do it. It's much easier to win games when you own both sides of the floor. Here's Truck. Still yet to score. Shot clock at six. Whoops, there's the 24 second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Los Angeles ball. Several teams changing it up here. Here's Johnson. They have a 22 point lead, it's the most they've led by. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Johnson's got 14 points for the game. Enjoying this big lead, and right now they look unstoppable on offense. Everything is going exactly how their coach drew it up. Top to bottom, this is the pinnacle of execution. Now here's Parrish. Six points for him. And the Celtics can't hang on to the ball. Searching for that first bucket here in the third. Right around three minutes into the second half. Scott with the ball. Now Henderson defending. Here's Wilkes. McHale with the rebound. McHale's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Clark, he just knew that Magic was licking his chops with Truck guarding him. He's made the Celtics pay. Well, you know, it's asking an awful lot from a guy like Truck to slow down the Magic man. Sometimes you simply have to recognize you're overmatched. The Celtics shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Both free throws good from Parrish. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Here's Johnson. Tries again. Larry Bird grabs the miss. The Celtics on offense. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to go on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You know, Bird is a lot taller than people think. He's closer to 6'10 than 6'8. And that helps him inside defense trying to stop him, but got sloppy and fouled him. Dane just checked in for Boston. Shoot two. The first one falls. You know, part of what makes Bird exceptional is his all-around talent. I mean, he gets it done on both ends of the floor, and that's how you end up being an MVP in the league. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. McAdoo comes in for Rambis, and James Worthy is subbed in for Magic Johnson. Bird hits them both. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. 
Left side, Scott. Outside, Worthy. To the middle. Here's Abdul Jabbar. And Kareem throws it down. Nice awareness there. Worthy sees the open man. And he gets it to him in a hurry for the easy bucket. Parrish with it. And Abdul Jabbar picks him up defensively. Celtics passing it around. Five to shoot. Here's Henderson. And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. Down low. Here's Worthy. And Worthy throws it down. And a nice play by Scott. Outstanding in the secondary playmaker role. Scott against Henderson. To the inside. Shoots. Here's Bird. The shot comes out. Excellent defense from Worthy. Well, Kareem only had three rebounds in their last game against Boston. You knew he'd grab more than that in this one. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Inside. It's tipped. And so the ball's out of bounds. Henderson touched it now. Love the pressure. He almost took it away. Very active hands disrupting the passing lanes. Nine seconds left to play in the third. Clock at four. Here's Abdul Jabbar. No good that time. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving a very few easy points. We come back right after this. We have one more quarter of play left between the Lakers and the Celtics. Our coverage continues here in the fourth quarter. And Mike, in the second half here, you wonder how big a factor the short benches will play in this one. Both teams are missing some rotation players due to injury. The starters might get a little more tired early on. That's really just too easy for Worthy. The defense can't give him that deep interior positioning like that. On the wing, Ainge. Pass to Buckner. Now here's McKeon. Truck with it. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Los Angeles ball. Johnson, he's checked in for Magic Johnson. The Celtics making a switch here. And here is Johnson. Kicks to Worthy. To the wing right side. Out of bounds. Boston takes possession. Carr, he's checked in for the Celtics. Henderson comes in for Buckner. Gerald Henderson. And so Bird will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. And the Celtics have one more game on their road trip, Clark. They'll travel to Phoenix after this game here. Caps off a successful six-game road trip for them, Kevin. They started really hot winning their first three games on this West Coast trip. Well, I'll tell you what, Henderson can be an effective dime dropper, like when a guy is that open. Johnson, the pass to Mackin. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Keep doing work inside. Close range looks like that will keep your lead safe. Stay on the attack. I agree. The defense has to shut the door on those kinds of shots if they want to turn this around. A nice shot by Bird. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Johnson kicks it over to Worthy. McAdoo inside, defended by McHale. Here's Johnson. Rebounded by the Celtics. 
Bird's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Dishes it to Henderson. The pass to McHale. Over McAdoo. A second chance effort. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Johnson outside. And the foul called on Kevin McHale. That is his first foul of the game. That's clearly a frustration foul. You could see that coming by the look on his face. Taking it out with a foul won't change much. He's got to have a more level head than that. Parrish, he's checked in for the Celtics. Redmond comes in for Danny Ainge. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. You can't give Wilkes breathing room from there. He'll make you pay if you do. Now here's Henderson. Defense is right there. McHale passes to Bird. Elbow shot is on the way. Here's Parrish. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. And here's Los Angeles. Here's Spriggs. Pass to McAdoo. And Gerald Henderson is going to pick up that foul. That's foul number two for him. Los Angeles making a switch here. Nader's checked in. Substitution on the court. A minute 50 left to play in the final quarter. The Lakers moving the ball around. Pass to Garrett. Just five to shoot. Here's Spriggs. Passes to Wilkes. There's a screen. Bank shot. No good. Wilkes has gone just two of six shooting, 33%. Right side Warren. And there's the pass to Buckner. It's rebounded by Garrett. I know, Mike, you love how guys are making plays for one another, and we've seen it all game long. Yeah, a real balanced attack. Total team effort. Here's Spriggs. Out to the right wing. Here's Wilkes. Car covering from down in the low post. It goes. That's too easy for Wilkes. He feasts on these types of opportunities down low. McHale outside, up top car. Back to McHale. And the layup's good off the glass. Doesn't get any easier than this. Working it down low and going to work. Looking to keep it rolling. Stay on the attack and keep playing the right way. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Wilkes. Here's Spriggs. Pass to McAdoo. Rejected by McHale. Using that impressive wingspan, McHale reaches out and knocks away the shot. Substitution on the court. And the Celtics with possession here. There's the final horn, and this one goes to the Lakers. Mike, they defended home court and beat a tough Celtics team here. An experienced Celtics team, but also very shorthanded. They couldn't overcome the loss of several starters. It was a lot to overcome, Mike, they're right, and still, this was a win that the Lakers wanted more than the Celtics. In part, they know how tight things are in the West. And they played like that was the case, Kevin. The Lakers simply outmanned the Celtics with their depth to get the win here at home. Mark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge and the rest of our 2K team. This is Kevin Harlan signing off. So long.